Welcome to Let's Talk with Teresa Ann. Here is an excerpt from Season 4, Episode 5, with my dear friend, Brecken Guzman. But when you got pregnant with your youngest, Mm -hmm. God gave you a dream. He did, yeah. Can you share that? I love that dream. Yeah, Yeah. I know. And And I remind my youngest all the time, his name's Titus. So Mm -hmm. when I was pregnant with him, so I'll just uh, start with, we have one daughter who's the oldest, she's 16, and then five sons that follow. Um, After a while, we did try to get her a sister, and that never Mm -hmm. worked, and that is just fine. God knew what he was doing. Yes. Um, And it worked out perfectly. But with the youngest, you know, my daughter hoped for a sister, finally, Mm -hmm. and... um, right before we went into the ultrasound about a week or two before the lord gave me a dream and he showed me titus his name's titus it means giant so he showed me him in a dream and i was carrying this little infant and looking down at him and into his eyes and if you know him he has the most amazing yes deep sparkling he eyes does. you know so full of life but he showed me him and said his name is titus william because he has a giant will for life. And so immediately, Mm. well, one, I began sobbing. Mm. Um, I sobbed for days, just in love with this little boy. Before Um, you even met him. Oh, yeah. And I woke up, I said, if if this is a girl, then we we need to have another one because we need Titus. We need this Mm. little guy. Wow. And um, so I woke up and looked up the name, and that's when I found out Titus meant giant. And then Mm. William clearly means will. So will. I'll say that. Um, <laughs> I was like, well, does that mean he's strong-willed? Because, you know, yeah. that's a bummer. You know, yeah. but it's way so much more than strong <laughs> <laughs> But I love that the Lord gave me that. Um, not It wasn't a warning. Right. But he did give me that heads up because yes. that little boy does not stop moving. He is the most strong-willed of all the children oh, wow. I've met. But it's so cool because every time I see that, I'm like, this is going to do great things. Yes. And so I remind him all the time, did you know that God named you? He mm. gave you this name? And, and he's like, yes, because he loves me. Oh, you know? oh yeah. God. He's so cute. And so, I love what you had said because I remember when he was, when he was growing up, when he was a baby, and then, like, <laughs> there was such a strong will in him, but you embraced it, and yes, then you were able... that's what I mean. Yes. Because I don't think I could have. Yeah. I <laughs> because all your other He's boys were very calm. Strong with them. Yes. yes. Yeah. Because um, oh. a lot of people are afraid to have sons. They they think of, mm. oh, they're so active, and they don't sit still. They're rowdy. Or, yeah. And, and I had all these boys that were so calm. You know, yeah. like, I don't know why. Sorry, guys. You know, they're, <laughs> they are. They're sweet and they're calm. Yeah. And then there's Titus. <laughs> and But had he been first in line, our whole crew would look very differently. Isn't that you know? amazing? Yeah. He was exactly where he needed to be. Wow. And what I really love for any parents out there who, you know, maybe you're saying, you're just so strong-willed. You're just so stub- stubborn. You're this. You're that. You know, God gave her that so she knew how to parent him. Mm-hmm. So because the strong willedness, obviously there there are gonna be things that are not good, you yeah. know, that are not so she knew, okay, I'm not gonna break his spirit in the process of teaching him, but yet still let him be wild at heart. Mm-hmm. And there is there is such a big difference. And so if you have a daughter or a son who's stubborn, you know, think of them as, no, they're strong-willed because they will not be moved. I mean, even this morning, I was getting ready, and I walk out, to give you an example, um, he randomly put on Rocky. He loves Rocky. <laughs> he loves it. That theme song runs through oh, that boy's head 24-7. So and he had a, a, a clip of it, and so I actually videotaped him because it was just cracking me up. He was watching Rocky. It's got the theme song going, and then he starts, like, punching and... <laughs> <laughs> He's like air punching. Yes, he oh does it all the gosh. time, everywhere we go. And randomly, he'll start playing it on the keyboard. You know? Really? Yes. All I the time. I love that. Like, he just lives with that theme. <laughs> it's, just, 
Thank you for listening in on this excerpt from season four, episode five with my dear friend, Brecken Guzman. Also, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. And also remember, this show is about bold inspiration, revealing God's goodness.